What is up guys? Got a little mail in today and five uh, five answers in reply to Michael's contest. The mail got in three different packages with a ton of the orange refractors that I needed for the set. Those all came from uh, the Facebook group. Another package from Billy. He had got more. And then Alex Army ATC 22 and Paul Smith he sent a note says good luck with the set also included a very SP Paul Smith buyback auto card which is right here Paul Smith apparently he played quarterback for Tulsa did not know that but uh Thanks to those guys for the set help, getting somewhat closer, and on to the five questions from Michael. Uh, the first one was, if you could have lunch with anyone that uh, has passed, who would it be? Um, not really sure if this is supposed to be an actor or a historical figure, athlete, uh, so I'll do both. Uh, the number one person would... Uh, have to be my dad um, who passed when I was 19 so yeah if I could have lunch with anyone that has passed in general it would be with him uh, just uh, not a good time of year it's just you think after time passes uh, it gets easier and it really doesn't even uh, watching Eric's video last night with him and his dad uh, just little things like that this time of year just gets hard to see, and I've said it to people before. Uh, I'll say it again. No matter where you stand uh, in your views or how things are going when it comes to parents, friends, anyone, uh, do not leave each other's sight mad. Um, always leave on good terms. And, yeah, just never know when something's going to happen. But m moving along, if it needs to be a... Uh, celebrity type person have to go with Chris Farley um, just think that would be a lunch full of laughs I remember uh, in the dedication videos to him David Spade saying that he would just walk into his dressing room Chris Farley would walk into David Spade's dressing room just naked <laughs> just and straight face like nothing's nothing's wrong or out of the ordinary just to make him laugh and yeah, it'd just be someone that would definitely be fun to have lunch with and sit there across the table with. Moving along, lunch with someone alive. Um, it's no real, am I supposed to say Eric Berry? Um, there's nobody that just like would be dying to have lunch with and pick their brain that I could really think of. So I'll just say my mom. Uh, yeah, she's still got eight kids living at home. I'm busy. She's obviously busy, still works full time. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to say her just to take the time to uh, make that happen with uh, as busy as life can get. Third question bring back any YouTuber. That's tough. Um, some people aren't making videos regularly right now that I still don't consider gone. So I'm not gonna go with any of those. Then you have people like Danielle, Dr. Boo, watching her videos in anticipation that there might be a wardrobe malfunction. Maybe a boob would fall out. I don't know, that might be a good one. Um, but I'm gonna have to go with Alan, Techno Bailey. Um, I don't know, something about hearing, what's up fuckers? Just always, uh, would make my day when I got home started watching videos uh, Alan obviously very you know just hilarious even if he wasn't trying to be and a uh, funny story with Techno Bailey when I first started watching his videos before I knew much about him I was 95 percent sure he was gay which is fine but uh, just his the way he carried himself and got into detail with things always drank the different beers and went on and on about him 
describing them and some of his mannerisms, I was 100% sure he was a flamer. And then he had, I think it was a video I saw when he had his son in the video and mentioned his wife. And I was just like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Alan, um, Techno Bailey, RIP, um, need him. That's who I would bring back. My biggest influence growing up, I would have to say good influence. My grandma and grandpa Smith uh, spent every other weekend out there at their place. Uh, they farmed and uh, my grandpa was just silly hard worker, uh, always out in the garden or out in the fields with the cattle, come home drenched in or come back to the house, drenched in sweat at lunch, eat a little something, drink his glass of iced tea, those uh, tall plastic glasses like Psy on Duck Dynasty. But uh, then we'd go right back out. And I remember when he got cancer, he would never go to the hospital. They had people come out there and do everything and tell him to rest and blah, blah, blah. And yep, he never had anything to do with that. All the way through until he passed, he just worked all day and that's the you know kind of growing up around that and working in the garden with them and you know tractor rides out into the fields with the cattle just learning that hard work uh, is necessary in life and they didn't have a lot but they were happy uh, just dinner table grandma would always cook awesome meals and just always tell stories and just listen to those stories um, from when they grew up and all the way through life is just always good to hear that stuff and that you don't have to have everything in life to be happy. And the last one was a person that currently inspires you. And uh, I am going to have to go with a couple friends of mine. Um, Kurt was my roommate in Jeff City. Uh, lived with him when I started getting back into collecting. Me and a couple other friends had had an apartment for probably, me and Kurt probably lived there four or five years. That's quite a while. And then went our separate ways after I'd gotten married and still friends with him. Didn't mean for that to sound that way. But his older sister and her husband, who I both went to high school with, and my mom actually babysat Alan when he was very young. Um, so I knew him growing up and he's been battling cancer for some time now and just their outlook on life and uh, the way they're fighting through that is absolutely uh, amazing and inspirational. She does Caring Bridge journal entries just saying what's going on and she always posts things on Facebook and it really keeps things in perspective that uh, little things in life uh, may be getting to you, but there's a lot uh, bigger things out there to worry about. And, uh, yeah, I think he just went through his, like, 12th round of chemo. And they really, when it all started, didn't give him a whole lot of chance, I don't think. And they weren't even for sure, you know, what type. I don't even know if they've still really figured that out. I think they kind of may have found the family of cancers that it's from but haven't really pinpointed exactly what it is. But um, I believe it was a while back they had a day with good news and they went home. And I think she did a video that's actually on YouTube and told they have three uh, three boys and told them and have a video. So if I can find that, I'm going to link it below. But uh, yeah, uh, just the way Alan fights, always a smile on his face and a uh, great person, great father. And yeah. That's a couple of people that inspire me right now. So that ended up being almost 10 minutes long. Uh, that's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. Peace.